<laughs> yeah, Captain Blush, eh? You like a monk, monk, eh? With that hoodie, hoodie. Oh, of course, eh? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this was can't keep up for hours, eh? Skill fight. Yeah, of course, eh? Yes. Yeah, but you can take off like this, of course. Salute. Salute to all viewers and subscribers. Welcome to our channel. Where we don't edit nothing, but we do delete a lot. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh -huh. First, I will say, Captain yeah, Blast. Yeah, I will say first, no, I will say something. Sorry, sorry. Because we don't have an unboxing video of this engine, because we did have an unboxing video. But yeah. Unfortunately, I yeah. have deleted the video because Robert didn't take yeah. the video out of the camera mm. in time. Man. We are both to blame at this point. Eh? We have filmed the unboxing of this beautiful brand new engine from Hobby King. Salute Hobby King quick! Because finally they have put the engines back in the store. Yeah, they have realized engines! They have realized that you can't be a serious pilot if you don't have at least one engine in your hangar. Yes. And now I will be quiet Captain Blush and you yes. do your magic! Yes, I will do it for the second time. The first time I have explained everything. Well, pretend. Explain and I, again, eh? And I will explain <laughs> again, eh? Well, we love your explanations, and now I, yes. will, I will be quiet, really, eh? Yeah, you must be quiet because otherwise I won't be able to concentrate, eh? Uh, what I was saying, yes, Hobby King will re release new engines. This one we have here will be uh, TP31 twin, twin cylinder. Third one, they also have TP21. Wait, uh, explain. Yes. Uh, they will be under the brand of Turnigy Power. Ooh. Well, the manufacturer is someone else, I will not tell who. Maybe Stuart Warren will tell you. Will yeah. Stuart Warren. Yeah, the point is that these are Turnigy engines and I think and that these uh, are the petrol engines. Petrol engines and what is the good thing is because they, they all use Walbro carp and I will show you. Salute Walbro, quick. Salute Walbro. I will show you. Didn't you say we'll be quiet? Aha, uh -huh, of course. I will show you what to do before you start the engine for the first time so you won't have any problems. Now, a few tips from few Captain tips, Blush. Yes. What comes inside is four bolts for the engine mount. I didn't use them because they are too short for this uh, arrangement here, but I will use them on the plane. Uh, there are two set of gaskets inside. One oh. set is here, one is on the engine. I will put both of them when I will assemble the, the plane. Uh, of course. Yeah. Cable for the uh, power supply and uh -huh. this secure clips. User's manual, all that you need is inside. Uh, carburetor is, is already factory set for the running in the engine, so you not have to do nothing for the first time. Mm -hmm. Here is the how you mount, how you prepare the fuel wait, tank. Wait, wait, I'm zooming. Yes. Of course, this is important, Ted, because if you're the beginner in this area of engines, piston, you need to set the tank correct, the fuel tank. Otherwise, you will have the problem. Say. Yes. Here is the exploded view of the engine, if you will need any parts whatsoever, maybe oh. piston rings, gaskets, cylinders, I don't know what. Here is the explanation of the car, low speed, high speed, you, you even have the choke here. Uh, this is recommended 18.8 prop, I will use 18.8, Aerostar I think. Yeah, I'm still filming here because Aerostar, I didn't uh -huh. show the viewers, in fact, that the engine is already on the stand. Yes, here is the explanation of the CDI unit. Uh -huh, wait. It uses uh, twin spark. Well, hey, all that you Sparks need. Sparks are quarter, quarter inch threads. Small one, just like a glow plug, but uh, spark plug. So, uh, that's it. Without further ado, no. First, can I show you, the? No. Uh -huh. Before you show the, no, you can show the. No, 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 no. Show first. This uh -huh, is, you have the extra carburetor. Yeah, okay, this okay. Is the, this is a Chinese knockoff of Walbro, but it is, it is totally the same. What you will do for the first time, so you will not have problems priming the engine. What we will do is, you will take this screw off. Aha! Uh -huh, this is a tip. A tip. For the first time running yes, all of these yeah. engines, or what, or just this one? Yeah, all the engines. All of them. For the first time. Or if the engine sits for the, for the winter. You take this off. Wait, I must come closer, yeah? This is the membrane. You put 
few drops of fuel here. Yeah. Put it back on. My friends, listen to this, say. Few drops because, of hey, fuel. If you didn't have an engine by now, this is the chance, even if you're a foam and a no. little lover. Uh -huh. Now for this side, yeah. you can, I will not, you can undo these four bolts. There is also a membrane here, yeah. put some fuel, or if you have a syringe, put fuel, now film here and not uh -huh. here. If you have a syringe, put fuel through this hole inside, just squirt some fuel and you will, you will, you will make the membrane wet so it will be able to suck the fuel. And now show the, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, where the engine uh, meets the carburetor, there is, uh, how do you say, the uh, Distance, sir. No, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, what you call that you put in the front of the plane? What's that? The stanchnik, you call them. Nevertheless, there's a plastic. Under the engine. And, and under this plastic is a, is a V-shaped membrane. Where, when you will take the carburetor off, also put some fuel inside, so you will wet the membranes inside the engine. Yeah, but what's the word, Captain Blush? You make them on the lathe. Stand off. A stand off. I mean, what with you? Eh? And now film the start. Uh -huh. video. And now I am filming first the fuel tank. Fuel tank, the battery, the CDI unit. CDI unit. This is just a temporary. Uh -huh. This is you the. Use, this is you the. You use this. This is the 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 power supply. It uses from six six to twelve volts. Can I, I show using. now? Can I show now the beauty? Yes. Uh -huh. Now show the engine. And now, my friends, hey, look at this beauty, hey. look. If one cylinder is sexy, can you imagine how much sexier are the two cylinders? I mean, this is it, hey. Yes. And now, you will be asking, why are the spark plugs at an angle? Why? Because if the, if the spark plug would be here, then this elbow would stick out one more inch. Uh -huh. And why is this good? Because whenever you will put this in engine in the cowling, you get rid of this. Of course, size. I can see now. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's much smaller, eh? Now show the carp. Ah, oh, the carp, of course. Overall carp. Th these are the membranes I was talking about, and, th and this is this standoff. And in this, inside this, there is one V-shaped membrane which you also need to lubricate with the with the with the fuel. Don't now we come closer buttons. because we can see here. The turnage. Yes. And I can go beneath. And you would also see if there will be an unboxing video, there's also something written on the casting. But nevertheless, eh? Yeah, oh, Captain, why should we put the camera back? And now, this will. Are you ready? This, this will be the first starting. I did prime the engine at home because I have the starter, I don't have it here. Aha. Uh -huh. It is primed. Uh, but I, I will now prime it some more. I will put the choke, and whenever you will feel the wetness on your finger, that means that the carp is is uh, primed. Primed. No. But and you will use the uh, the leather glove. Leather glove. I will because use this. my friends save your fingers. Say this is one thing. These are not toys, and you can get your fingers cut. Safety always first. Yes. And here you have the optional tachometer. Uh huh. So you will see what's happening to the engine, and when, and this is also and the indicator. Oh. Whenever the ignition is hot, this will be on. Now, oh. first, before I will uh, put, uh, uh, put the ignition on, I will prime the engine. Here is the choke. Mm -hmm. You choke the engine. No, this is closed. You put your finger on the engine. I think that the fuel will come very soon because uh, did you see? Look. Yeah, I can see, yeah, yeah. Because I have primed oh. the engine at home, but I didn't choke it. I have primed it with the starter. And now, if you didn't uh, wet the membranes, you, it, it will be a lot uh, harder to start the engine and you can ruin the, the piston rings because it's all... So this is really important, my friends. Dry. Now, but after that... Yes, and now, where will you stand, eh? I don't know. Stand don't put it, don't put it on the sun, eh? Yeah, put it on the sun. First, oh. I will do a few flicks without the with battery, the ignition, of course. With the ignition off, so it will suck in the in the ca in the crankcase. Now, I will put the ignition on, and 
When I will start the engine, you will see first, just, just like on a chainsaw, the engine will start for a, maybe a millisecond. You will hear a pop, and when you hear a pop, you take the choke off, and then you start. Maybe it will die on me. Uh, when you hear a pop, it's time to change your diaper. Yes, say. I know. I, I, I knew exactly what you were going to do. Yeah, yeah, but okay, okay, okay. You take the choke off, you start it, and maybe it will cut off because it's very cold in the workshop. So I will put the choke again. We will see now. Choke is on. Oh! Did you hear that? I heard the pop, eh? <laughs> and this is why, because I have pre-lubricated the, the, the carp so the engine doesn't uh, go dry. Now, this is great, eh? Ah, this is, our, this is what I was talking about. Because it's very cold in here, the engine has died again. Ah, ah you will put your choke, choke more again. choke or what? Choke off. Smell, uh, yeah. Yeah, another thing. The smell is say amazing. I'm using full synthetic Motul 800 oil, which yeah. is using for the racing. Uh, why is it good? Because it doesn't leave any residue on the piston and it doesn't hurt the spark. Yeah, but even the smell, eh, the smell is perfect, eh? Huh? <laughs> and now we go now behind. Uh -huh. I must do it again. Yeah, so yeah, but this is it. That is why we are filming, gay. people all ten will, uh, will answer you differently. I will tell you how I run my engines in. Yeah, that is why you are the master for yes, the engines. Yes, because, because every pilot does it different way. At first, every time I, I run the engine for the first... I can hold it, eh? Yeah, of course. Every yeah. time I run the engine for the first time, I use slightly more oil. I will say, I don't know about those 30 to 1, 20 to 1, I don't... I use a percentage of the oil. For the first time, I use four percent mix, whatever that means in in that different. Uh, what means for the five liter can, I'm using uh, two deciliters of oil. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is for the first few tanks, uh, and then later, later when the engine will be run in, I will use three percent mix, which means. 
Uh, I could use two, but I like, even though the, the plane would be messy, I don't care about it. I, I care about the engine more, about the mess on the engine and plane. Lately, later, I will use 3% mix. One, one and a half, one, 150 milliliters of oil for a 5 liter can. And that's it. It's as easy yeah. as it gets. Yes. Or if you take, if you uh, say 10 liter of gasoline, you will put three deciliters of oil and that's it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 10. It's easier yeah. if you so say in 10. 10 so, so that's 30 to 1. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, you know it, Captain Blaché. Eh? One more? Because that, uh, that, uh, calculations from this to that, eh, I'm... Yeah, but screw that calculation, eh? One and a half deciliter to five liters of mixture because you will make yourself the can of five liters of this mixture. That's it, Captain Blasher. And these engines come in 10 cc, uh -huh. 10 cc, 20 cc, 21 cc boxer, 26 single cylinder, 31 uh, boxer, and 35 single cylinder for now. Yeah, perfect, eh? Perfect. Because this is for the most of the planes in a yeah. perfect size that can fit in every this car is, uh, or something. Yeah. The, these engines are the, the engines that are mostly used in, in yeah. because, because if you go larger scale then even the prices are sicker. Right? Because as long as we will film my friends this channel, as long as we will have this channel the engines and the Bolsa planes will not die. Yes. And of course Captain Blush you already have the plane for this. Yes, and it will be uh, ultra stick 9, no, ultra stick from hangar 9, 2 uh, meter wingspan. And the point is? That that runs on 30 cc and this yeah. is 30 cc. Yeah, and that you will see the engine, because that plane doesn't yes. have the cowling, and yes. you will be able to see this masterpiece in all its glory. As I said, don't forget to pre pre uh, pre wet the carp. Uh, even if the plane is sitting over the winter, this is not a bad thing to do. Put in fresh fuel. Yeah, and that's it. Eh? Uh, prime it. You can. I did prime it with the starter at home. So, so, so I have seen that the fuel went into the car and it went straight away because the carburetor was pretty, pretty wet. Then you just put your finger, you choke, you choke the engine, put your finger on, and whenever you feel the, the gasoline on your finger, well, that's it. It's enough fuel inside. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. You, you have it. choked the engine and later, Captain Blush, you will choke the turkey or you something. Choke the no? turkey. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course, my friend. Sorry, sorry. Eh? Uh, I just had to say it, eh? Because it's such a long time since the last time you were choking something on this channel. And I'm really happy, Captain yeah, Blasher. Eh? these propellers? What? This propeller is also from Bobo King. Aerostar. Yeah, of course it is. Aerostar propeller. Oh, yeah. And, and huh. this is the sensor pickup. Show here. Uh -huh, yeah, of course. Sensor pickup. Here is the magnet. You can change here. You can... Uh, uh, the timing. You, you can... Uh, uh -huh, of course, if you slightly move it. Move it. So, so you can you, you can set it uh, pre top dead center or after or whatever, but this is set factory set and yeah. it's set perfectly. And you have seen that it is good enough, eh? Yes. The only thing that I will have to fiddle with this is when the engine will be run in, I will just have to set the high speed needle because the high speed low speed is perfect as you as you, as you have seen. And the high speed I will change. And we were talking about that on the on, on the unboxing, but I will tell it again because the, the setting of the carburetor also depends on the elevation where you live. Yeah, of course it does. Eh? If I will set the car here at the 200 meter elevation and then if I will go, I don't know, maybe in Austria when there is a 1.5 kilometer or one, or one mile above the sea level, the engine will not run the same, so we will have to set it again because of the air density. Yeah, but of course later if you will fly on the same uh, airfield, 
It is so good with these petrol engines because you don't have to set them every single time you go flying. Because with the glow engines, Captain Blush, you know what happens. Yeah, but not with me. Yeah, it depends if yeah, you fly depends. in the morning or yeah, in the yeah, evening. Okay. Yeah. okay, one last. Aha, the, uh -huh, the last one. one for the closure of the video. Uh, we will start the engine and Robert will cut when I will cut the engine and that's it. So I will salute now. Thanks, Hobby King. So you have released these beautiful, sexy engines. Thanks to Robert Warren. For which link will be, of course, in the description, my friends. Yes. Check it, don't waste your time. At least, you must have at least, we, you have said it on the last video that we, we have erased. Say it again. What? Even if you're the foam lover and if, the electro yeah, lover. If, if you're the foam lover, you, you must have at least one petrol engine at home. Even, even if it would be just yeah. to understand. Who cares? Yeah, just to crank it and listen to the sound and to the smell. Yeah, the good thing is with this engine that you don't need a starter, you can flick it with your finger. Right? Now, just I'll put it to the compression. Like this. 